Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Christmas Eve, and this is Gerd84 here, hoping to wish you a happy holiday, a Merry Christmas, and whatever else you guys may have going on in your families. Uh, I hope that you have it and have an opportunity this holiday season um, to relax, to reflect, and to enjoy each other, um, be good to each other, um, and, uh, and get, get all the gifts that come along with, with the holidays. Um, as I've been thinking about this time of year, I'm thinking back to last year and how last year we were striving really hard uh, here at the channel to try and reach 1,000 subscribers, to try and kind of get into that next level of stuff that goes on at YouTube. And last year we were able to do that. And this year has been uh, a lot of fun, a lot of growth, a lot of things that I never thought I would ever get to do um, as just kind of this regular guy playing games in his basement. Um, and so very, very cool to me um, to get to meet people and interact with people and to do videos and to do things that, uh, that I thought were just really, really fun. And it's been a really great process for me. Uh, but I will say that this year has been really hard too. This has been a year has been a, a year of growth and change and challenge. Um, and I honestly want to say that I could not have gotten through this year without all of you guys and you guys who have been a big part of, you know, keeping me going without even realizing it. every time you comment or like, or, you know, subscribe or join us over on Twitch or whatever it is that you do that, that, that brings you closer to me and kind of fires me up. You know, it, it, it has gotten me through some very difficult days this year. Um, and so as a way of saying thank you, I wanted to take just a minute and actually say thank you, but also share with you something that has been a big part of my life when I was growing up. Um, and I'm going to read to you. Reading is something that I think is wonderful. Um, reading is, I think, something that uh, inspires us and takes us to places that we couldn't ever go. Um, and I'm going to share with you a book that I read a lot when I was a little kid, whether it was this time of year because it's a Christmas book or because I just like to read and I used to read this book all the time. I'm going to share with you How the Grinch Stole Christmas. This is a, the copy that I had when I was a little kid and I'm going to read it to you now. Hopefully it gives you something to think about. Um, and maybe you'll find some new meaning in it this time, because I'm sure you've heard it or read it or seen it before, but maybe you'll find something that you didn't find last time. Every Who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. But the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. The Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be his head wasn't screwed on just right. It could be, perhaps, that his shoes were too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve hating the Who's, staring down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the warm lighted windows below in their town. For he knew every who down in Whoville beneath was busy now hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings, he snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas, it's practically here. Then he growled with his Grinch fingers nervously drumming, I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow, he knew. All the Who girls and boys would wake bright and early and they'd rush for their toys. And then, oh the noise, oh the noise, 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 noise. That's one thing he hated, the noise, 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 noise. Then the Who's young and old would sit down to a feast. And they'd feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, 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 feast. They would feast on who pudding and rare who roast beast, which was something the Grinch couldn't stand in the least. And then they'd do something he liked least of all. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand hand in hand and the who's would start singing and they'd sing and they'd sing and they'd sing, 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 sing. The more the Grinch thought of this Who Christmas sing, the more the Grinch thought, I must stop this whole thing. Why, for 53 years I've put up with it now. I must stop this Christmas from coming, but how?
Then he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do, the Grinch laughed in his throat. Then he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat, and he chuckled and clucked, what a great Grinchy trick. With this coat and this hat, I look just like Saint Nick. All I need is a reindeer, the Grinch looked around, but since reindeer were scarce, there was none to be found. Did that stop the old Grinch? No, the Grinch simply said, if I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So he called his dog Max, and he took some red thread, and he tied a big horn on the top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh, and he hitched up old Max. And the Grinch said, get up! And the sleigh started down toward the homes where the Who's lay a snooze in their town. All their windows were dark, quiet snow filled the air. All the Who's were all dreaming, sweet dreams without care. When he came to the first little house on the square, this is stop number one, the Grinchy Claws hissed. And he climbed onto the roof, empty bags in his fist. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch, but if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flue, where the little Who's stockings all hung in a row. These stockings, he grinned, are the first things to go. Then he slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room, and he took every present. Pop guns and bicycles, roller skates, drums and checkerboards, tricycles, popcorn and plums. Then he stuffed them in bags. Then the Grinch very nimbly stuffed the bags one by one up the chimney. Then he slunk to the icebox. He took the Who's feast. He took the Who pudding. He took the roast beast. He cleaned out that icebox as quick as a flash. Why, that Grinch even took their last can of hoo hash. Then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee, and now, grinned the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. And the Grinch grabbed the tree, and he started to shove, and he heard the small sound like the coo of a dove. He turned around fast and he saw a small who, little Cindy Lou who, who was no more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this tiny who daughter who'd got out of bed for a cold cup of water. And she stared at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking our Christmas tree? Why? But you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he thought up a lie and he thought it up quick. Why, my sweet little tot, the fake Santa Claus lied, there's a light on this tree that won't light on one side. So I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there and I'll bring it back here. And his fib fooled the child. Then he patted her head and he got her a drink and he sent her to bed. And when Cindy Lou Who went to bed with her cup, he went to the chimney and stuffed the tree up. Then the last thing he took was the log for their fire. Then he went to the chimney himself, the old liar. On their walls, he left nothing but hooks and some wire. And one speck of food that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. Then he did the same thing to other Who's houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other Who's mouses. It was quarter past dawn, all the Who's still abed, all the Who's still a snooze when he packed up his sled, packed it up with their presents, the ribbons, the wrappings, the tags, the tinsel, the trimmings, the trappings. Three thousand feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet, 
He rode with his load to the tip-top to dump it. Poo, poo to the who's, he was grinchishly humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas it was coming. They're waking up now. I just know what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two, and then the who's down in Whoville will all cry, boo-hoo. That's a noise, grinned the Grinch, that I simply must hear. So he paused, and the Grinch put his hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, and it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why, this sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so, but it was merry, very. He stared down at Whoville. The Grinch popped his eyes, then he shook when he saw a shocking surprise. I have to fix it now. <laughs> Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presence at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet, ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled three hours till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, didn't come from the store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say, that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And the minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light, and he brought back the toys and the food for the feast. And he, he himself, the Grinch carved the roast beast. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed reading it to you. Uh, I've enjoyed all the things that we get to do together. And, and I hope to do a lot more together in the future, whether it's, you know, videos or polls or posts or, you know, coming over to Discord and saying hello and chatting and um, just getting to know you guys has been a, a really great thing for me. And um, I hope that you all have enjoyed it too. And I hope that you all have a good holiday, whether, whether you're resting at home or working uh, or spending time with family or spending time with us right here because you guys are family too in, in, in our own way. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and happy holidays and whatever else you got going on. Uh, be good to each other, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.